All right, you guys, over the weekend, I uh, posted so- something that I thought was going to be kind of an innocuous tweet, something fun for us to uh, digest and think about. Um, but it seemed to strike a nerve. Um, I, I posted a GIF of uh, uh, Will Smith from Men in Black holding up that mind wipe thing and uh, basically asking people, what game would you like to have your mind wiped? Of so that you could play the game again in a whole fresh new way, and I think so far I can't draw the the uh, the stats up, but I, I think I've had like 700 replies to this thing, and uh, which is phenomenal. And I'll, I'll give you a list of the um, uh, some of the some of the ideas that we've had for. Uh, um, some of the games that people have been talking about, sort of like Last of Us, I think was one of the ones that everybody was talking about. Um, we've had a lot of uh, Resident Evils, we've had a lot of Metal Gear Solids. And I think the concept here is people want to, um, and the reason why I came up with this was Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. I really felt like, oh my God, that was so exhilarating to get lost in that game. But I would love to, uh, you know, just start over and not know where I'm going in this experience. So I got a lot of uh, a lot of replies to this. Um, I've, I've got a tweet right up here right now saying, not so much to play it again fresh today, but I'd love to relive the near limitless free time that I had to fully immerse myself in Final Fantasy VII and Ocarina of Time. A lot of Final Fantasy, a lot of Zelda. Uh, would Zachary, uh, just Zachary Seven said, uh, would say the Halo tr- uh, trilogy, but since that's a trilogy, near Automata or Awakening, uh, which is rad. Um, Fire Emblem Awakening pops up again. Uh, C. Scott Parker uh, says, uh, I'm excited for, oh, there he was talking about the new Mega Man game. Uh, I've got a Final Fantasy 15, got a lot for The Last of Us. I think if I had to pick out of, and I certainly haven't done any kind of uh, database on all of the answers and stuff here, but I think if, just from cursory sort of looking at all of the responses there, I think uh, The Last of Us fares really, really high. Uh, but I did ask uh, people in uh, the EPN community to send me a video of some of the uh, um, ideas that they had. Here's Blair Farrell right now with his, his choice. Resident Evil 2 for sure because I came to that game in late 1999 having only owned the Nintendo 64 and coming off of Nintendo, Super Nintendo games and then in 64 and never really experiencing anything like Resident Evil 2 with its multiple scenarios, haunted corridors and its grand mystery interconnected in this series it made me think about games in a way that I never had before, and it made me want to experience games on other platforms coming mostly from a strong Nintendo background. Wark OA also sent me something here as well. No water? Of, uh, so that I can play again fresh. Hey, EPN, how's, how's that? it going? Uh, the question okay. was, which game I would like to wipe my memory of uh, so that I can play again fresh? I think it has to be uh, Metal Gear 5 Phantom Pain. I love that game. Uh, the surprises in it, you know, meeting the skulls for the first time. Uh, the, the mystery, the gameplay loop is, is, is just so good. Oh, I'd love to play that uh, game again fresh. So uh, I got one from my- Faramir right here. Here. Looks like he's dressing the part for The Last of Us right there. <laughs> okay. Four, okay. I was like. There you go. If I had to pick a game to be wiped, it would have to be Shadow of the Colossus. I tried playing it again on PS4, I played it on PS3, but I tried to get it on PS4, I was like, oh, this game is huge, it's wide, but. I already knew the twist. The twist in that game was phenomenal. The the amazing story that I embarked on, the amazing journey with your horse, with everything, was just the best game I ever played. And I think I saw it on reviews on the run. And that's how I knew about it. And that's what drew me in was when I saw that game, I was like, I gotta get this right away. But PlayStation 2 was the best experience ever. And that's the game... I'd love to be wiped and then redo just to experience everything that I did the very first time. Adrian Leon. Murray wiped out of to experience it again with a fresh start is Resident Evil 4. Because I really want to um, experience once again all the scary and fearful surprises that it had. And I would even say the same thing about 
the first three Resident Evil games in any other um, survival horror action games. And here's Blade Blur. My memory to start fresh. Vic, to answer your question of which game I would like to erase for my memory to start fresh, it'll definitely be Resident Evil 4 because I think that any kind of game that has really memorable set pieces, um, when you play that game again you kind of know what to expect and that first wow moment when you experience some of the things in Resident Evil 4 were just moments that will never be able to be replicated again. So I would like to experience that game again with uh, an empty mind, so to say. An honorable mention would be the Metal Gear series, because, come on, it's Metal Gear. <laughs> Great stuff, you guys. That's really fantastic. I'm glad that everybody uh, took a chance or took a, uh, some time to uh, participate with us here. Uh, just my unscientific polling, though, uh, just by sort of uh, perusing some of the replies there, it was crazy. It was just like, wow, I kept getting tons and tons of them. But uh, Last of Us would be number one. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic, probably number two. Resident Evil 2 kept popping up. Undertale, which uh, I think was a bit of a surprise for a lot of people, um, that they uh, that was the one out of all the games, and they were they sort of um, let me know in the tweets that I bet you're going to be surprised that it's going to be Undertale, but it it's obviously resonated with people in some pretty massive ways. Uh, I think a lot of people also shared my love for Spider-Man PlayStation 4 um, and uh, wanted to see a little bit more from the Spidey universe after they completed it, and it would be amazing to mind wipe and start that whole one again. Uh, God of War kept popping up as well, so that's, I think, a round of applause to uh, Sony's first-party teams out there. Uh, especially when you're focused on single-player experiences, people want to, uh, uh, you know, relive those stories again in some, some cool new ways, without knowing all of the plot points, obviously. Um, Breath of the Wild and Ocarina of Time. Zelda got a lot of love in uh, my replies, and I think... Uh, um, uh, Breath of the Wild, I think, especially, even though it's not necessarily about the story so much as the experiential kind of elements of, of the uh, the story that you tell in the direction that you tell it, um, there is something to be said with not knowing what's around every corner in that incredible game. Halo 1 and 2, I think, were uh, the next ones up, um, or people were talking about the, the whole Halo trilogy, uh, but a lot of love for where the uh, the roots of this franchise uh, came from, what Bungie was able to achieve with a shooter that also imbued all of this uh, you know these emotional touch points and this this curiosity and this backstory behind all of it uh, persona 5 I think also had a massive impact on a lot of people and the persona in general it's such a story a story driven um, uh, concept and, and uh, franchise that people get lost in the uh, in the worlds that the developers behind persona always make. Uh, Skyrim definitely made a ton of people's uh, lists as well. People were uh, absolutely blown away by a lot of the uh, Elder Scrolls stuff, but I think Skyrim was that uh, that elevational element, that, that game that uh, uh, just shook people, and they didn't realize they wanted to kind of live the, the first-person kind of Lord of the Rings type fantasy experience like they could with that title. Metal Gear Solid V made a lot of lists, which was great. Um, kind of the swan song for uh, Kojima and his team, but it was also littered with lots of um, allusions and connections to the lore of Metal Gear, but also its own tight story. It took some controversial choices like Kiefer Sutherland, but uh, um, the open-ended, uh, open-world gameplay with all of this, uh, these great narrative moments, fantastic, and also incredible bosses in that game. The Uncharted games, you could pretty much, uh, uh, Uncharted was on this list a ton, and it, it sort of it spread the gamut. A lot a lot for two, a lot for four, a lot for just the whole series in general, but this was a, uh, uh, you know, a single player narrative driven experience for the most part. And then of course they, uh, they got into some multiplayer as well, but uh, this was uh, a game that, a series or has been a game series that has just completely captivated people and they want to go back. Um, Witcher 3, of course, made the list. Um, I think people are probably uh, still sort of hunting around, no, no pun intended, uh, in the nooks and crannies of uh, CD Projekt Red's uh, incredibly diverse and massive map out there to see what else is out there, what else they can pull from this game. Uh, but I know that this has sucked uh, people in completely and utterly, and there's a massive fan base out there, uh, and people want to kind of 
wipe everything and start over, which would be crazy if we could do that. Maybe in the future we'll be able to do that. And speaking of future, Mass Effect made the list a ton as well, which is not really a big surprise. Bioware masters at um, building uh, elaborate uh, interactive stories, you know, characters that are multi-dimensional and fully fleshed out, really, really cool. Uh, and of course, um, it's had a little bit of a fall back with Andromeda, uh, but the original Mass Effect trilogy, phenomenal stuff. And I too would welcome the idea of starting that those games over fresh. Now, I did like a tweet, and I forget who it was. Um, oh, let's see, I might be able to pull this up, okay. Uh, and it's from Caleb, and it was HX Caleb, and he said, I have a five-year rule with media. After five years, you forget all but the key moments and twists of a game, movie, or show. Anytime after five years, you will have a pretty fresh experience. And his answer, which I heard over and over again, was Red Dead Redemption as well. And I kind of like that idea that after five years, uh, you can jump back into these experiences and they, they will feel mostly fresh to you. Um, I've kind of found that to be the case because obviously I've played a lot of remasters of games that I originally reviewed back on, uh, on EP or Reviews in the Run years ago. And uh, I think there's some truth in that statement. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, st we cannot wipe our minds completely of, uh, of experiences that we've had, uh, but it's, uh, it's, a fascinating, it's a fascinating discussion, and I think the root of the discussion is that you want to share that experience, and there's a little bit of a, uh, uh, you, you tell me if this is right, for, uh, true for you, but you feel a little um, uh, jealous of people that are experiencing something brand new for the first time, you know? And they're, get, they're getting to dive in and, and uh, play a game like Spider-Man or something like that for the first time. Anyways, I, I really appreciate everybody's reply, whether you got to me on Twitter or on Facebook or on uh, our YouTube community uh, or you sent videos in. All very cool. Uh, great topic of discussion. And uh, I would love, if you haven't replied yet, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So let me know. 